excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kick. He doesn't always intend on landing it, but he beats up your arm with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Hard tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, and they both possess a similar height and reach. All right, now for the particulars inside the octagon of Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Newcastle, England, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, Grinthin rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your corners, come out there. You ready? All right, you ready? You ready? All right, so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? That kick blocked by Lee. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the shot. Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. That's a big strike right there. Big leg kick land. Look at him whip his hip. And he landed the right hand there. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Changes his stance. Nice punch by Lee. Very tricky. 
blocks here as the hook to the head is blocked. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how how good that feels to get kicked like that. Down it does. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to be kicked like that. Counter jab snaps the head back. That should get his attention. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body kick. Tags him with the overhand. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the Oh, do you see what you look at this? The Imanari roll out of nowhere. And now right into a heel hook transition. His opponent has been rendered defensive here. Let's see if he can survive. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. 15 seconds. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that. A good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. And relax. He had some good striking in that round. Probably won, but that's all right. This round, we're going to turn the time. Let's turn this up. All right, DC is back from the concession stand as we get our next round underway. And you had to like what you saw in terms of the volume and the efficiency on the feet in that previous round. Oh, he did a great job of just being active, really setting down on those right hands, showing that it was not only going to be striking, but a lot of significant strikes landed over the course of that round. Big power punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Yeah, he fixed it all up. Beautiful straight counters. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost that he just movement. Right or left, get out of the way and avoid those shots. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. Never looked this good. Battling for hooks. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Good punch land. Strike lands there. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. And plenty of time with which to work. 30 seconds to go in the round. He's throwing every part of himself. It's 
beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, you can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, those are going to really start to take that time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Boy, time clock. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. They continue to exchange. Real sneaky body kick. Good stick. Exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Lands the right hand. Punches. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Knee to the body. Oh, big left. Trying to hammer that lead leg. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Man, look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. Gets up again here, but... Oh, there we go. Under a minute to go in the round. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the huddle. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish. But if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty okay, good ready? back and forth action in the previous frame. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Big punch lands through the middle. Get him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent... Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Gets to the target so fast. He always brings his hands right back to his face. 
Well, he's got to be on top of the world after this performance here tonight as we come down the stretch of this one. From a cardio standpoint, this is as conditioned as he has ever arrived in the office. I mean, he looks fantastic tonight. It's one of those nights where everything went right. He's got the fight where he's comfortable, and he's dictated the exchanges to where he can really conserve that cardio. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high level grappler. You don't see that very often. Nice placement there on the left hook counter. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attack. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Oh, big head kick. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got hurt bad. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Twenty seconds left. Ooh, big shot lands. He loaded up on that right hand too. Lee gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Well, right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets underway. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. How good is that right hand? Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. One-two punch by Lee. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, is he a good counter striker? Counters beautifully with the left hand. Lee gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. And they clinch once again. Oh, man. Look. Oh, swept the leg beautifully to get the takedown, DC. Mr. Miyagi would be very, very proud of that sweep. Great job getting into your position and finding that beautiful takedown. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Blocked. he gets denied. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. All right, dominant position for him here, full mouth. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you got to start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push. Trying for a submission now. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Oh, now he's in trouble. The sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. Powerful leg kick lands. One 
minute to go in the fight. Just misses there with the left. Great punch. Nice head kick. All right, so a lot to like over the distance of that fight tonight. Clearly, we think we saw one guy win the fight and largely got it done with the striking. Yeah, he got it done with the striking. And that's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a guy that's so comfortable whenever he's in the stand-up. And that showed tonight as he truly outworked his opponent. Decision is in, it resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 50 45, 49 46, and 50 45. Declared the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, nice.